What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I am late on this one, I am so sorry. Uh, it was 9.3 Beta 5 has been released, actually over a day ago, but I still wanted to cover all of the new features and changes with you in this video, and there are eight. So I've counted eight changes or new features, not specific to either one. You know, Apple's still tweaking iOS 9.3, they wanna make sure it's running smoothly and all the bugs and issues are ironed out before final release on March 21st or so they say. So let's go ahead and cover all these new features and I will show you how it compares to the last beta performance wise. So first and foremost, something that Apple fixed that they previously removed iPad Pro owners rejoice. Apple has returned navigation to the Apple Pencil. So this is something most people wouldn't even notice because not a lot of people own the iPad Pro, but Apple removed the functionality for scrolling, you know, sub menus, clicking prompts, you know, even going in the app switcher and flicking back and forth apps. So something that Apple removed is back and uh, it's not clear whether or not this is because people made an uproar about it or maybe it was a bug, but more than likely, it was confirmed it was a feature removal. Enough people made a stink about it, and now it's back. Thank you, Apple. Night Shift has received some new settings and changes. So first off, in the Control Center, you will no longer get a pop-up prompt when enabling Night Shift. It's now a cleaner enabling on and off process. You just turn it on or turn it off. You know, in order to get the pop-up before, it's just been relocated. So now the option to turn on now or uh, turn on until tomorrow is now over here. So you now get a new option over here to manually enable till tomorrow or the scheduled option of course which was previously here so now you can go ahead and do that it's a much cleaner way to turn on and off night shift there's also some changes here as well. Now the temperature slider inside of Night Shift has gone from cooler and warmer to less warm and more warm. So now you just slide it with these you know, renamed options. Other than that, you just get a little bit more text down here saying warmer temperatures can reduce eye strain. Now also, if you do have low power mode enabled, you can no longer enable Night Shift. So if we jump back into the settings, you'll get this prompt basically telling you Night Shift is disabled in low power mode. This is an attempt, of course, to keep the battery life as good as possible, which I guess the night shift takes away from a little bit, so be warned. Now, people that use a company phone, you're about to be disappointed. This doesn't apply to probably 99% of the people in here, but if you're issued a company phone, your company now has more control over your device. But before I get into that, I just want to say another additional change is that your device will let you know whether or not your device is being monitored or if you're pretty much being managed by an organization with this option right here on the lock screen. Further, if you explore in settings, you'll get this option right here that tells you how you're being monitored or what's being controlled. So for example, a user on Reddit posted this, uh, this iPhone is supervised and whatever the name of your company is, can monitor your internet traffic and locate the device. So it'll tell you what your supervisor can see on your device right here if you have a company phone. Now, the other change is that they can now control the orientation of your device so they can permanently lock it like this or have it the other way around. I don't know why it's not rotating, but they can also blacklist applications so you can't see them or download them and vanish and hide apps from the system itself. So this alongside the class Classroom app tweaks in the iPad, it's looking like Apple is making changes and adding, you know, sort of watered down guest modes. Hopefully this leads to a guest mode in the future. And lastly, iOS 9.3 beta 5, more of a change or fix, fixes third party notifications that previously didn't display on the Apple Watch. So that's been fixed in this latest beta. And here's the Geekbench for iOS 9.3 beta 5. So I decided just to throw this guy in real quick. Here it is on beta 5. Four. So looks like it shrunk a little bit there. Not a very accurate way to test it, but hey, why not? Still, uh, it's not very far behind the Galaxy S7 Edge. Look at that. I mean, for a device that came out far before it, that's only dual core with only two gigs of RAM, that is pretty dang good. <laughs> oh my gosh. So uh, yeah, guys, I'll have a full comparison between these guys up very soon. I know some of you guys were asking me for that. It's uh, it's not easy to make. You know, It's not a very easy comparison, especially with so much pressure, but I'll have it up soon. So there you go. Those are eight changes iOS 9.3 beta 5, we might see one more beta. You know, Apple hasn't been pushing out more than five in the last couple of years, but for the amount of features we're seeing in iOS 9.3, that may be a possibility. So uh, thanks so much for watching. Just a little update to keep you informed on the current status of 9.3. I'll have a jailbreak update coming for you real soon. Stay tuned for the official iOS 9.3 speed test as well. Peace.